Tel Aviv is known for its thriving art scene, but if you don't know where to look, it can be hard to find emerging artists. If you don't live in Israel, it's even more challenging. But one Israeli company is working to change that. Ron Laufer is the owner of the online gallery Art in Twist, where art lovers can check out Israeli artists without ever sitting foot in the Holy Land. He's here with us today to tell us more. Thanks so much for coming in. You're welcome. So, first of all, what exactly is Art in Twist? Artist in Twist is a virtual platform that exposes Israeli artists, uh, painters, sculptors, photographers, video artists, and uh, we help them to show their art, sell it. Uh, we do auctions, online auction and physical auctions. And uh, what we're trying to do is actually taking out the art from the studios and show it to the world. So it's basically like an online gallery. It is an online gallery. And do you show only Israeli artists, or how does that work? Well, 90% is Israeli artists. The other 10% is Jewish artists mm. that live abroad, or Israeli artists that live abroad. We have a few artists that travel and paint everywhere. They paint the view, they paint the people, you know. They like to travel and paint, so, you know, we never sure. say no. Definitely, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to be featured on your website. How do you go through choosing well, people? Well, we have a quarter uh, system. That's, uh, we review the work, we review the personality, we review the potential, we review the past works, the future works, and uh, we help them. We, we actually choose excellent artists. We, we won't take anybody. I looked at the website, I will agree with that. <laughs> and uh, we try to help them to you know, break the uh, ceiling. Definitely. Now, is there a theme that you're going for with their art right now on your website, or you pull from different types of art? Well, we have um, all kinds of art. We don't believe that we have to, but we push, you know, different, different artists for different directions. Uh, for example, we have an artist called Eric Bracha. Now we take his uh, amazing art to Canada, because yeah. pop art is very popular over there. It it's depends which market is it. Is for the Russian market, it's different kind of art. It's for the European, for the Mediterranean. Each, each area requests different kind of art. So, you know, we try to meet and match. Definitely. Now, I understand it's not just taking established artists and displaying their work. You're exactly. also helping artists develop their craft, correct? Exactly. We, we first, the most important thing about art, I think, is the talent of the artist. So if you recognize a talented artist that doesn't have the right PR or doesn't build his name yet, we will help him get to where he want to, where he has to get. Definitely. Now, is there any artist that you have in mind that you could tell us about that it's been a success story for them? Well, for us, all of them is a success story, sure. you know. We have amazing artists. We have Jun Katz, she's uh, Ole Hadash from uh, New Zealand. She's doing amazing abstract. We have, as I told you, Eric Bracha, amazing pop artist. We have uh, David Rubin, also an Ole Hadash from the States. He's amazing photographers with many, many kind of, um, excuse me, different kind of, uh, of subjects. You must check his uh, website, mini sites. And uh, we have uh, Michal Gurnandan. She's a very unique pop pop art kind of artist, very special. It sounds like a wide variety also. It is, it is. I mean, we have to expose art. We, you know, every person of different kind of love, different kind of passion. We like to show the most, the best, and uh, as more as possible. Definitely. We have also artists that, uh, artists, art collections that uh, belong to artists that are uh, no longer with us, you know. Some people pass away, but they left amazing, uh, amazing art behind them. Sure, so on. we had the family show it. You know, it's very limited kind of um, of art, but it's there. It's few pieces, and it's kind of museum, uh, museum level. Definitely. Now these pieces sound amazing. You mentioned there's an auction feature. Can you tell me more about that? Well, we're building a new system of auction where the artist can uh, sell his art directly to the end clients on a bidding system. This bidding system is going to be a lot of fun because the, the artist will have the armor in, in his hand. He 
will be able to close the deal before the end of the sale. But he also be able to sell out without a minimum uh, price. Sure. And this is a very unique feature because most of the art have minimum price. So because we, we will give them the option to buy without the minimum uh, uh, price, the, we build a nice icon it's called uh, a bit insulted. That's the artist can, can actually tell uh, a client that will uh, offer an uh, insulted price. So we try to, to, get, to build a system that will be fun and will help the, the client to, to treat the, the, the artist with respect. Sure. So it won't get you know, noted as an insulted person. Definitely. <laughs> well, it sounds like a fun, fun yeah, feature. Yeah, it will be very fun. We try to do it in different ways, to take it out of the studios, make it more fun to buy, more fun. We will let the clients know the, the artist. We'll have an intro video, we'll be able to know him, we'll see the studio, we'll see the past work. We give all the history of the clients, of the artist. Fantastic. Now, final question. If someone's browsing the website and they see perhaps a piece of art that they would like to get, maybe it's not on auction, how do, how do they get a hold of you? How do they... Well, you know, as anybody else, you have an email, you have telephone. <laughs> I mean, there's the easiest ways to get a hold of me. Well, it sounds very user-friendly and like there's a lot of art that thank they'll you. want to buy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you.